Hi everyone, it's Tanya Gibbs and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you a chalkboard tutorial and this is part of a blog hop post that is going on over on YvonneBlair.com as well as the other uh, Art Girls blogs. So I'm going to link you up to a blog post down below in the description box and uh, it will share all the details with you on how you can take advantage of that awesome giveaway that's going on over there. Uh, so let's talk about the project and then as I get into doing the chalkboard I'll give you more details on that blog hop. So this is a chalkboard that I picked up over at a department store and it was uh, themed for school back to school and I do not want to use this uh, ruler that is uh, printed on the chalkboard itself but it's not engraved into the chalkboard it's just a surface so I'm going to sand that off really well and this was quite a messy job so I recommend doing that outside then I'm going to take a moist uh, wet and uh, baby wipe and just wipe that down really well get all that chalk residue off or that paint residue off and then I'm going to start using this wonderful uh, journal buddy that we are featuring today. So uh, some of the details about this little journal buddy as I get started with my chalkboard here is it, as you can see it's a really nice tool to have in your arsenal. It's great for not just chalkboards but also for some of your journal pages. Uh, I just happen to be featuring it here on a chalkboard project uh, but I'm and again I'm just using chalk uh, and just to give you some details about how it's used um, the journal buddy is a multifunctional tool uh, and it's uh, really nice it's made of sturdy uh, stencil material so it's very flexible as you can see as I'm moving it around this chalkboard here uh, it has a ruler printed on one side that is a really nice I think it's eight inches long or nine inches long and uh, it's really handy to have that ruler printed on one edge but then it also has a wavy curvy edge so if you're really into art journal uh, it's really nice to have that uh, curved edge there for making some really nice interesting text uh, on your journal pages and then it also has these lines drawn in the center of it which makes some really nice uh, ed, uh, lines for you to draw into your journals for being able to do some uh, really nice uh, neat lines for journaling so as you can see as I'm moving around this chalkboard I'm you taking it full advantage of this journal buddy to do my my journaling that I'm going to do here on my chalkboard it also has two straight edges on each side so that you can uh, use it for smaller um, sizes like if you wanted to do Bible journaling in the margins and things so continuing on with my chalkboard project here just to give you some details of what I'm doing with that I'm using a standard piece of chalk to do this and uh, as you can tell it has a really sharp edge. How I did that was I just took that piece of chalk and stuck it into a pencil sharpener that has the 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 fatter edged pencil sharpener and just sharpened it down that's all and then is to get it really nice and flat on the back side all I did was prime my chalkboard with um, the back side until I got it really nice and smooth so here you can see that I'm using the journal buddy uh, the curved edge to create a banner on my chalkboard so I'm using that flat edge that's on the side and uh, to create the side of my banner and just lining it up on the other side. I love that the journal buddy you can see through it so you can easily line things up but I also love that it's flexible so that as you can see I can move it easily around my chalkboard without creating too much of a mess and uh, I had a difficult time when I was using rulers on chalkboards because they're not so flexible and it's very hard when you're working inside of a frame to be able to fit a ruler down inside the frame to keep it lined up and that's one of the things I really liked about uh, using the journal buddy is because I could I, it was so flexible that I was able to bend it and move it without breaking it so um, I really enjoyed that that part of it with working with my chalkboards uh, now it does um, remove some of the chalk as I'm moving around but that's okay you'll see me at the very end go in and do some of those final touches to clean up the mess that I'm making uh, by dragging my hand across this or you know um, 
by uh, laying the chalk or the journal buddy down. Uh, never fear. The first time you lay the chalk down, it's really just your prime and just setting the uh, the the footprint and then you just go back and and just add those details back in that you're removing with your hand as you move across anyway so um, what I'm trying to do here is just get the word thanks inside of my banner and uh, go ahead and and like I said I'm, I'm just kind of lightly adding those touches I can always go back and add a, a another stroke to add the details in later if I don't like what I'm doing what you see me doing is this is a sponge that is uh, from Faber Castell Design Memory Craft and uh, I'm dipping it into a, you saw me add a little bit of water to a cup and I just spritzed it in there instead of pouring it in there so it would be moistened but not really like super wet because I don't want the sponge damp and then I blotted it off onto a piece of napkin off to the side so again my sponge is not like soaking wet it's just a little damp and then I'm using it as an eraser to erase up those mark those chalk marks um, the the board stays a little bit wet so that's what you'll see is the streaks on that but then once the board completely dries you'll never even notice that I used an eraser on this board another little tip for chalkboards um, I noticed this with the chalkboard I did a while back I hung it in my bathroom without sealing it um, and then what I noticed was a couple of days later after a few showers I noticed that the chalk started to evaporate on it and the heavier lines actually became really crisp and the thinner lines became really crisp but all of those little pieces that were residue on the chalkboard had completely disappeared so it was almost as if the chalkboard had been completely printed and then I took it outside and sealed it and I was like wow this looks professionally done so there's a little tip for you for chalkboards now this chalkboard because I want it to live on my uh, on my front porch I am not going to seal it because in a few months I'm gonna take it completely erase it and then I am going to put a Christmas saying on it which I may bring back to YouTube uh, to do so that you guys can see me do the hand lettering for the Christmas saying as well I also have left the distressed look on the board because I feel like as it weathers outside it's going to become even more fancy so I'm, I'm gonna really like that as well too so uh, moving on now I've decided to freehand a couple of pumpkins here on my chalkboard um, I do have some colored chalk and looking back on it now I wish I had done the colored chalk on the pumpkins but you know hindsight you know you know what they say about Han site but the beauty of this is that it is chalk so uh, since I didn't do this with a permanent medium like uh, marker or um, pastels I can always come back and just erase it and do it all over again um, you know practice makes perfect another tip that I have for you is that I did indeed do this on a piece of scratch paper before I did this on the chalkboard so I do recommend practicing if you're not great with your handwriting and try and figure out how you want to do the fonts and the, th the hand lettering uh, on a piece of scratch paper before setting out to do this on a big chalkboard uh, those are some tips for you if you like um, also play around with your computer fonts uh, figure out what fonts you like um, I also recommend doing some tall and whimsical some scripts and things like that to give yourself some uh, really nice whimsical looks so once again I've pulled out my little journal buddy here and I'm using the ruler side of this to kind of help me guide and um, decide how I want to do my lettering I'm using the back side of the chalk this time to make my letters a little fatter and using the ruler to make sure that my letter spacing is um, done properly again I may not be the best at hand lettering but I do like the homemade feel of this and I do like that it looks like I did it and I didn't buy it because it is going on my home, my front porch and uh, when people come to my home over uh, Halloween and throughout Thanksgiving I want them to have that home feel when they come to my front door so um, I, I am excited about this and uh, it's one of the things I'm I really enjoy doing chalkboards and while they're not perfect I want them to have that feel of it's something I did not something I purchased so uh, the more you do this the better you get at it and 
I don't know. I just, I, I think they're really fun. So I encourage you to go out there and practice this and have fun. So while I finish drawing this up and, and put some of the finishing touches on this, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, blog hop that's going on over on all of our pages. So we've, we're having this wonderful, super awesome blog hop because this little cute journal buddy here has been selected as the Stampers Sampler by Stamping Tons um, Editor's Choice um, product for October through the December issue, so, uh, which is so awesome. So we've decided to do a little giveaway over on our blogs and do a fantastic uh, blog hop demonstrating how fantastic this a little uh, journal buddy really is. So um, go check out each one of our blogs. You'll see each one of us have a unique way of using this fantastic little tool. Of course I'm using it to uh, create a chalkboard and then um, everybody else has a different way of using it and I'm not going to do spoiler alerts so you have to go over and see what they're doing. And um, so the blog hop started for you guys here on YouTube because videos live forever. Uh, the blog hop started October the 3rd, uh, 2016 at 8 a.m. And then it's going to run until October the 7th at noon. And there you leave a comment on everybody's blog and you can't leave them here on YouTube. You have to leave them over on the blog. Unfortunately, you can leave them here. We love them here. But to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to leave them over on the blog. So uh, go on over there and leave them there for uh, there will be one person from each one of our blogs selected to win uh, one of the journal buddies. And then there will be a grand prize winner over um you know, from all of the comments left on all of the blogs. So for the full details on everything, go check out the blog posts. Um, anyway, so yeah, it'll be fun. And our international friends are definitely encouraged to participate. We definitely love you guys and want you to win some goodness too. Uh, and then the winner will be announced on October the 7th at 7 p.m. on Yvonne's blog. So make sure you're subscribed, you know, well, subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to be a subscriber to win, but just leave some love. And if you enjoy what you see there, make sure you, you um, subscribe. So I'm just filling in some more little details here on my uh, little chalkboard. And of course, you saw me add a lot of chalk and then I went and smudged it around with my finger. That had some shading, which is so fun. And then just adding a few more little highlights with the chalk. Um, all these little details are what really makes the chalkboard come to life. I mean, you can really tell. Um, you know, just have some fun with it. And, and the great thing is, is when you step back away from it for a day or two and you decide there's something in here that you really just isn't sitting well, just take that little sponge tool that I showed you before, wet it, and just start erasing and put whatever was bothering you, put it back in the way that you think your eye would be, it would be more pleasing to your eye. That's all you have to do. Um, and I really think... Uh, the more you fill it in, the better it looks. So have fun with it and, you know, really go in and add details. So what I'm doing now is just taking that chalk and going back over some of my other words and just making sure that they're really heavy. So I just really want give thanks and Lord to be super heavy on this canvas. Um, especially like Lord, I wanted it to really stand out. Initially, I wanted it to be thin lettering. And then whenever I really got to looking at it, I thought, no, the Lord needs to be really heavy on this canvas. Uh, so um, I'm giving him a little more weight there. And then as well on the word give, I gave it a little more weight. So I think I'm finished with this uh, chalkboard and here's a glimpse of it out here on my front porch and um, a close up. And then here's also what it looks like uh, with the whole grouping out here. I think it's so fun and uh, makes a really nice entryway into my front door and it'll be a lot of fun when I have trick or treaters come knocking. So again, don't forget about the journal buddy blog hop over at YvonneBlair.com and that's where you'll start the hop and then don't forget to leave comments and and uh, blog hop all around. Uh, thank you again for hanging out with me through this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to share it with a friend.